Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we're doing another tier list. Today we are going to rank the characters that feature in American Horror Story Murder House. So Murder House, when I did the tier list, didn't feature too low. It wasn't my favourite season. It wasn't, like, the most amazing season. It was the season that obviously started off the franchise, if you want to call that. And it did come in with a bang. You had some good actors, some good characters, some good storylines, a little bit of gore. And today we're going to rank the characters. I'm going to give you as much information on each of them as I can as we run through. As you can see, we do have a good list of characters. Uh, it has been photocopied twice, but we do have a good list of characters. If I don't know their names, I will try and remember where they feature. And we will go from there. We are ranking them in amazing, good, okay, I don't like you, and die. As in, literally despise the character. So the first one we're going to do is Ben Harmon. Now, Ben was a psychiatrist. He moved into the murder house with his wife after they suffered a miscarriage. And they were going to try again. She ended up getting pregnant. And she uh, had a pretty rough time in this house, not going to lie. Their relationship was incredibly strained. Now, him as an actor, I kind of felt he fell a bit flat. A little bit like, mm, I don't know if they picked the right person. Did they have the right chemistry? I don't know if they gelled as much as I would have personally have liked. So we're going to put him in... I don't like, I don't think he should die, but I didn't like his character, really, I, I think his acting for me was just a bit flat, but it could just be me, okay, next we are gonna go for Vivian, his wife, so Vivian had um, suffered a miscarriage, and they'd moved into this new house, um, she was going to have a baby again. She was seven months into her pregnancy after having a miscarriage. They were trying to, I suppose, save whatever they had left of their marriage. She was a celloist and she ended up falling pregnant to Tate, who we will see later. And uh, she had a, a intimate affair with the rubber man, if you want to call it that. She herself spent a lot of the series screaming being distraught but then again she was pregnant can you can you blame the woman for that uh for me vivian was i put her as good i wish she didn't cry and scream and i wish she wasn't so in your face um but i guess that's how the actor is portrayed an hysterical pregnant woman Okay, next we're going to do Violet. Now, Violet was their daughter. That was the daughter of Ben. She was a very troubled teen. And she finds out during the thing that she died. And that she's actually trapped in the house. Uh, she died uh, within it. Um, and that really was a terrible scene to find out she died. Uh, she was in love with Tate. Uh, it was a very weird up and down relationship. She's just a struggling teen. Her acting, I would put in okay. Not great. I don't really gel with the character, if I'm if I'm like truly honest. Um, but I will put her in okay. Um, she's not a lot of people's favourites. It was kind of a character you love to hate in my eyes. Okay, next we have, uh, what do we have next? Um, did they do the child? I don't think we featured the child. So there was a child in it, but we don't have a picture of him. And that was Michael, the little tearaway child that likes to kill the nannies and stuff, but he doesn't have a picture, which is quite a shame because I would have probably put him in something really cool. <laughs> a killer child is always pretty cool. Okay, 
we're going to do Constance. So Constance played by the immensely wonderful Jessica Lang. She really did keep me interested in this series. Her acting was just on point. She was a next door neighbor and she um, did have a child herself. And she really, for me, um, she had Adelaide, her daughter, who had Down syndromes. And she, she was, for me, one of the best parts of this series. Her acting is just so on point. And for that, she is going in amazing. Jessica Lang, in most of the seasons, I personally like she reached it. She reaches right up to the top of um her acting potential for me um could just be me but i i i really do really do like her acting um so good little art form okay next we have hugo so hugo landon had a very tragic story um hugo um was um the husband or lover of constance and honestly for me um does he have a picture i don't know if he has a picture i don't think he does i don't think we've got a picture of hugo do we have hugo um but he wasn't a good actor anyway i didn't like the acting and i didn't like the character um and he had an affair with the maid i uh, you know that kind of thing happens so hugo's just gonna go in okay wasn't great you know um not much else to say uh about him okay moving on we are going on to oh tate now we're gonna do tate langdon so tate had a very troubling life he uh did a killing spree at a school uh he fell in love with violet obviously but forgot to tell her that she was dead and it um tate was put together by body parts of a <laughs> bunch of uh, dead people and made into this vegetable as such um tate is a really interesting character I think I'll put him in good. He wasn't exactly the most interesting character. I think his character was, wasn't was like the shining um, light of the entire series. I don't think he was reaching his full potential. I think his full potential came in other episodes as you went along um, in the series. Okay, next we have... Adelaide. Now, Adelaide was the daughter of Constance. She had Down syndromes and she died in the end of it by being hit by a car. So she was, she was in quite a lot of the scenes and she did feature a quite prominent role within it she was that creepy girl that walked into the murder house and freaked us all out originally like what's this child doing here i personally i didn't really like the character so i'm gonna be honest and so i didn't really like the character it didn't for me bring really much to the to the entire um uh franchise for me uh, not because she had Down syndrome or anything like that. It was just the character for me was just a bit, just a little bit, um, I guess a little bit lacking. Okay, so you had the character um, Bo Langdon. So Bo Langdon was Constance's son, brother to Tate, who 
is grossly deformed, is chained up in the attic after being smothered to death by Larry. And um, can you rag on the uh, rag on the fact that uh, she'd had a rough start? I'm going to put her in okay. It's not fair on her to put her in the don't like or anything. Her story added something to it, but it didn't, for me, add a lot. Um, for me, you obviously, you had the, the Tate story and everything else going on. So there was a lot going on within this one. This had quite a lot of storylines going all at once. Um, so the next character we're going to look at is Moira. So... There are two characters in Moira. There is Moria um, when she was the maid. And then there is Moira after she dies and she's um, trapped in the house after Constant kills her because she was having an affair with Constant's uh, husband. So the actual original one I don't like. Uh, I, I say die. Her original character, I didn't really like. The character she comes back as and haunts the place as, I think her acting is good. I think she does add something to the story. Um, and um, she isn't really... She, she features with him, but she, she isn't like an integral part of the entire story. Uh, she does obviously get killed. Like most of the people in this, a lot of people die in this. Um, okay, so next we are going to look at Zachary Quinto, who plays Chad. So Chad is a duo of a gay couple who unfortunately get murdered. Um, they are killed in the house by a gimp man unfortunately and he dies and chad himself is a really good actor i'm gonna put him in in okay i don't think he's great i don't think he really adds much obviously he's in it for a bit and then he dies um you know it was a, a sad way to go being um drowned in some apples I think he was drowned in some apples. What a way to go, huh? Um, okay, next. Next we have... Patrick. Patrick was the lover of Chad. Um, and honestly wasn't a big fan of the actor I didn't think he really brought much to it kind of a well for me kind of a bit of a flat acting if I'm really honest uh, I'm not sure if I have a picture of him does he feature um is it this one I think it's this picture the pictures are all a bit over the place on here um, I don't think I have a picture for him, but he, he again didn't really interest me. I am taking the, uh, pictures from here and then I'm taking the information from elsewhere. Um, but Patrick would have probably gone in the less interesting one. He just, it's just a bit of flat, act, flat acting for me again. One dimensional acting. So the next character we're going to look at, if we have a picture for, um, there was quite a lot of actors within this. And the next one we're going to look at is Marie, played by Rosa Salza. She was the religious nurse that was killed in the house with the others. And she was hogtied and stabbed to death. What a way to go. Uh, for that, she's going to go in okay. I think if she was hogtied and stabbed to death, we, we can at least give her... Uh, <laughs> at least give her... Um, 
a bit of an okay send off. Bless her heart. She 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 seemed a very sweet, very sweet little girl, but unfortunately she, she had to die. <laughs> so next we're gonna look at Gladys. She was another one of the nurses at the nursing home where they were again murdered. Um she didn't really play too much of a part in it and she did have a really good character so she's gonna go in okay um she didn't really like jump out at me in the season she only played a very small part for me okay getting on to some unsavory characters we have charles montgomery so charles is a very interesting person he was an architect and the owner of the original house um, and he ended up being a kind of Frankenstein's monster. Uh, his wife had a baby that died and he brought the baby back to life but it was this weird Frankenstein creature and for that we don't like him. We, we do not need Frankenstein babies in the world as much as I felt sorry um, for his wife bringing back a Frankenstein deformed monster for her, um, just weird. So his wife, when I'm going to look at is Nora. Nora, um, had an interesting story. Uh, obviously she had a baby, the baby died. Her weird Frankenstein husband brought it back. It was a complete and utter weird um, freak of nature uh, that festered for blood, not milk. She praised her husband for, for making it and bringing her baby back. Then she shot her child, shot him, and then killed herself. And that's how she ended up stuck in the house. And for that, we're going to put her in good. She was a bit of a blubbering mess during the entire season. She did cry a lot. She did weep a lot. But then she she had suffered the loss of a child. And you can't really blame her for that. Okay, next we are going to look at Hayden. So Hayden was played by Kate Mara. She's an unstable former student of Ben, who he used to do the psychiatry with. Um, and she um, was a really weird character. I didn't gravitate to her character at all. I think she was just a don't like. She just was weird, the whole weird Ben thing. Just un, a kind of unsavory, unnerving. Didn't really, mm, didn't really do it for me. I'm gonna say didn't really do it for me. Um, okay, next we're gonna look at Larry. So, Larry, Larry, Larry. What can we say about Larry? So, Larry unfortunately has a really burnt face. He used to live in the house. Um, and he tells Ben that he burnt his wife and kids to death in the house, leaving them. He ended up with second degree burns. Um, he was in fact having an affair with Constance. And he is an unsavory bloke, but he's okay. He has redeeming aspects for me. He's not totally despisable as a character for me. Um, but he doesn't feature very high for me either. Okay, next we're going to look at Troy and Brian. So, Troy and Brian, the bat-wielding, red-headed, identical twins who vandalised the murder house back in 1978. And they feature in it. They don't feature for long. They don't really do anything for me. They go in, die. 
just don't like them. I just think they're brats. They're unnecessary. I don't really see a need for them, but that just could be me. I don't see a need for them, but, you know, they brought a bit of whatever to the proceedings. Okay, who else do we have left on this? Now we have Thyadus, so, or in features in the Infanta, which is the infant son of Charles and Montgomery, who was kidnapped and dismembered as a tape for tape revenge by an enraged boyfriend of the Montgomery patient who performed an illegal abortion. This thing here, we're going to put in die. I'm sorry, it's creepy, it's weird. Die. <laughs> I'm sorry, it, I know it's an, an infant son, but yeah, it, it, to me it's, it's too weird, too weird. Okay, so who else do we have left? So we have the estate agent lady, which I cannot remember her name, and I know it will come to me at some point. Um, what was her name? I can't remember, was it, what was her name? Well, the estate agent lady, she was trying to sell the house. She was trying to, to turn a profit by selling the murder house. I didn't really like her character. She was just a bit, just a bit off. Um, and just didn't really do it for me. Um, okay, next we are going to look at um there is one character that doesn't feature on this list that i want to give a a shout out to and that was elizabeth short played by mina savari she doesn't feature on here i don't know why but she played the black dahlia and her character was really amazing i know it was very short-lived and she wasn't in it for very long um, but I really like the whole Black Dahlia story. I think it featured really well in it for me. Um, so who else do we have? So we have the little burnt children that feature in the house. We're going to put them in Don't Like. Uh, you had the police officer. He didn't really bring too much to it. We're going to put in don't like. Um, you had the, was he the black officer as well? We don't like. We're going to put in uh, don't like. Who else did we have? I can't remember her character. She featured in it. Um, I'm sorry. I can't remember all their names. I, I really am trying. Um let me just try and see. Um, ooh, okay. I think they're the main ones, if I'm honest. Um, you obviously had, um, oh, I can't remember her name. She features in it. I can't remember her character name. We'll put her in good. I can't remember her character, but I remember within it. Um, anybody else that needs to be featured? I think we've done most of them. Yeah, I think there's only like four that were left. I can't... Oh, he was the one that was dating Constance. He will put in don't like. He was okay, but he didn't have much of a storyline. This guy, I don't remember where he features. So we're going to put you in don't like because I don't remember you. This woman, I can't remember where she's in it, but we're going to put you in okay. This girl, I don't remember where she features. So we're going to put you in okay. And then I think that was it. I think that was all of them and they were just repeated. So I'm sorry if I couldn't remember all their names and everything. It's been a really long time since I've seen Murder House. 
it's been maybe 10 years since I've watched Murder House. Um, but let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know your rankings. Obviously, Jessica Lang being at the top on her own. I think she held the entire season. And then you had some other um, really good uh, performances. And then you had the people at the bottom that, although added something to the story, they just didn't do it for me. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. If you want to show me who you would put at the top, let me know your ranking. Next time I'll try and be a bit more prepared. I do try to make these videos with as much information as possible. Um, but it has been about 10 years since I've seen this series. So let me know your ranking and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.